हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक जय हिंद वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अवर ई लर्निंग सेशन एस यू ऑल नो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग बायोलॉजी सेक्शन एंड इन लास्ट लेक्चर इफ यू कैन वेरीफाई प्रॉपरली इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड one of the important life process <coughs> that is human digestive system human digestion we have understood it quite detail now dear student as i told you in this particular chapter 6 the chapter title is itself life Hello students welcome back Jai Hind very good morning 
as you all know very well that so far as our last lecture is concerned we have discussed in detail about one of the very important life process we have discussed thoroughly the topic of human digestion in our last lecture we have discussed about how nutrition take place in amoeba at, at uh, and also we discussed about human digestive system in detail now dear student today we are going to understand another very important life process which every living organism has to perform for their perpetuation and for their survival we are going to discuss today one of the important life process which we call respiration <coughs> what is actually dear student try to understand the meaning of respiration let us try to understand what is actually respiration just try to understand this particular word first it is important for us to understand this particular word what is actually respiration so i have mentioned two words here which you can see respiration i have written inspiration and expiration what is actually the meaning of this dear student inspiration means what you all know very well that we require oxygen for our survival no respiratory oxidation will take place until our cell acquire oxygen that process of inhaling oxygen in our body understand in our body means in body of every living organism that process is known as understand that process is known as human uh, sorry inhaling or inspiration mean inspiration is a process of inhaling oxygen what is expiration that's the process of dia student throwing out carbon dioxide which is useless gas from our body this two process when you combine when you combine inspiration and expiration it is known as respiration understand try to understand one very important thing dear student how the inspiration take place in different living organism different living organism has different way of inhaling oxygen in their body understand just take an example you must have heard and you must have knowledge about this also dear student different living organism possess different way understand of inhaling oxygen just try to understand how different living organism in our body when i am talking of the bodies of other living organism let us first compare dear student Uh, suppose somebody ask you a question which is respiratory organ for human being i am not listing out just all but you know that we inhale oxygen via nostrils you all know it very well but how different living organism inhale oxygen suppose you think of just plants our body has got only one respiratory organ through which you inhale oxygen inside and that oxygen inhaled by nostril 
has to travel throughout our body so long process of transport in our body that's why we have got blood transportary system which you may call blood circulatory system rbc engage in the process of transferring inhaled oxygen to all parts of our body that's why we require that blood circulatory system dear student but in plant it is not the case in plant all most every organ in hell every organ in plant is involved in the process of inhaling oxygen how do you student suppose you think of plant suppose uh, i draw uh, take an example these are plant roots just try to understand plant root also absorb oxygen dissolved in water present among the earth particles so this oxygen is absorbed by the minute root hairs as you all know those minute root hairs understand present here this minute root hairs dear student present here okay uh, just uh, okay just a minute okay uh, right okay okay chalo see this minute root hair are present here see and this minute root hair are trying to absorb the oxygen understand from uh, oxygen dissolved in water so root is one of the inhaling organ respiratory organ for plant if i want to show another organ plant almost all organ respire in plants understand if, if you know one thing very well dear student if you uh, uh, take an example if i draw the leaf of plant so you know that there are stomata present on either the ventral surface or lateral surface of the leaf which also help in inhaling oxygen no doubt it also help in the process of throwing out carbon dioxide also but on the lateral surface or ventral surface of the leaf stomata are present we have already discussed in detail about the structure of stomata that you all know very well understand as well dear student so root is one of the respiratory organ in plants leaf one of the respiratory organ in plant because stomata even dear student this uh, don't keep this misunderstanding in mind that stomata are only present on the surface of leaf uh, leaf either on the upper side or the lower side no in herbs smaller plants stomata are also present on the stem also and help in the process of inhaling oxygen and throwing out carbon dioxide okay now dear student if you think of those huge banyan tree or woody plants which is the respiratory organ St stomata is already there on the leaf surface root hair are also there on the roots for the absorption of oxygen but if you think of the stem understand i just uh, just i try to so suppose a stem of a big tree i draw here i am showing one this type of structure okay actually this is the a student called lenticels okay try to understand lenticels these are those minute pore understand present on the surface of the stem these are those minute pores dear student help again in the process of inhaling oxygen and throwing out carbon dioxide so dear student if you compare the process of respiration in plants and animals suppose we complex living organism we have got one respiratory organ but it is not the case in plant they have got all respiratory organ root respire lenticel respire leaf respire means stomata respire so in plant there is little exchange of gases between the part we have got only nostril 
as our respiratory organ through which we inhale oxygen it has to pass through all cells in our body so we require that's why we require a particular good efficient transport transporter transpiratory system like blood for transporting this oxygen okay this is what we are talking of understand dear student plant but even if you think of other animal take an example dear student if i mention some of the animal take an example a uh, different animal have different respiratory organ some of the animal understand respire through skin also some of the animal respire through skin when i am talking of skin dear student the on the skin there are minute pores which you can call trachea many small insects understand respire through this minute pores present on their skin understand which are called trachea or you can call it spiracle they respire through this spiracle or trachea means via their skin the process of inhalation and exhalation going on understand if you compare amphibian and fishes so they means most of the aquatic animal as you all know they have special respiratory organ which you can call understand gills these gills present here are helping in the process of respiration if we think of understand human being dear student we have got a highly understand fabricated very complex respiratory system understand just take an example what happens dear student understand in the process of respiration first let us try to understand it okay let us try see dear student <coughs> just try to understand we all know one thing very well that respiration take place in every living organism in our body dear student one thing is clear that respiratory oxidation take place on glucose molecule either in presence of oxygen or in absence of oxygen in our body dear student most of respiration process take place in mitochondria you all know in perfect presence of oxygen it is converted into carbon dioxide water and lots of energy is released by just oxidation of one glucose molecule almost 38 atp energy is released understand in our body just try to understand this very important word. almost by complete combustion of one glucose molecule 30p atp energy is released in our body okay in our cell in other living organism dear student just try to understand this okay in other living organism if you just want to verify just take an example what is written here glucose six carbon molecule in every process either aerobic respiration or anaerobic respiration one thing is clear in anaerobic respiration there is either sometime lack of oxygen or or presence of insufficient oxygen so in pre, in absence of oxygen understand what happens this glucose molecule understand try to understand first converted into <coughs> pyruvate acid that is three carbon molecule this is a process dear student occurring in every type of respiration that's for sure try to understand this very important six glucose six carbon molecule first convert into pyruvate this is a common process process taking place in every type of respiration that's for sure that six carbon molecule glucose converted into three carbon molecule pyruvate after what happens this pyruvate in absence of oxygen like in lower class organism like yeast bacteria fungus etc converted into you need to remember this ethanol carbon dioxide and release less amount of energy try to understand 
sometime we can also utilize for this one particular word dear student which if i want to mention it is called fermentation if you can remember this word fermentation fermentation means it is one type of oxidation of glucose molecule taking place in absence of oxygen where the product are ethanol carbon dioxide and very negligible less amount of energy now if there is a lack of oxygen dear student that means oxygen is available but it is not available in proper amount then what happens this three uh, pyruvate pyruvic acid which has been formed by decomposition of glucose in muscle cell what is going to happen it converts into lactic acid and release less amount of energy does it happen dear students sometime yes you have seen many multicellular living organism even after taking their food suppose crocodile understand crocodile after taking its food always in the rest mode even never able to move for some period of time because of formation of this lactic acid in muscle cell due to lack of oxygen which is not allowing the animal to become active understand so most of the huge size animal dear student after taking food understand they feel lethargic they just uh, Uh, just uh, they like to stay aside only for long period of time understand so one thing is clear in your mind understand that this is the process going to occur okay in in every uh, respiration this too this too dear student can be called this too understand are termed as anaerobic respiration understand occurs in absence of oxygen produces ethanol carbon dioxide and energy in lack of oxygen produces lactic acid energy understand this is called aerobic respiration where you all know the product which take place in higher class living organism carbon dioxide and energy here dear student when if somebody ask you that how much energy is created in anaerobic respiration by combustion of only one glucose molecule so you should mention only 2 atp dear student not more than that here i have mentioned 38 atp energy is released because your complete complete oxidation of glucose molecule take place not here where it form either ethanol carbon dioxide or lactic acid in energy understand these are two types of respiration okay now dear student let us try to understand respiration understand in human being just let us see the diagram okay see try to understand this diagram dear student if somebody ask you which are respiratory organ understand in, in human being so just let us try to focus here the respiratory organ let us try to focus dear student which are those respiratory organ so starting from here if you look at the diagram try to understand see dear student what is there so see first come the nasal passage understand through nasal passage we inhale oxygen try to be watchful dear student this from this nasal passage understand we travel means air enters through nasal passage then the air travel try to understand this understand this air travel dear student and goes to the pharynx if you can see pharynx here dear student through pharynx okay through pharynx if you are able to see it goes to the larynx through larynx it goes to the trachea this part is showing trachea this trachea dear student opens understand becomes bronchi this bronchi opens in alveoli these are lungs dear student so though they are protected by this cartilaginous 
cage understand which you call ribs these are lungs alveoli understand actually try to understand dear student let me show you if we just move it here this is actually alveoli understand these are alveoli and uh, this is i uh, the cut section of this ribs you are able to see the alveoli here these are alveoli protected by the rib cage okay so dear student try to understand this process <coughs> how actually the process of respiration take place understand in human being now try to understand this in detail see dear student first oxygenated air is going to enter here okay try to understand one thing first we are explaining you one by one oxygenated air enters our nostril and travel through it now dear student try to understand one thing this oxy when this oxygenated air enters your body suppose i am explaining in lecture and suppose i want to breathe you also at home try to breathe when you try to breathe dear student actually what you are doing this diaphragm is helping to increase or decrease the volume inside the lungs means it is trying to increase or decrease the volume of thoracic cavity when i am speaking of thoracic cavity i am speaking of the lung space now what happens when you inhale you are trying to understand actually your diaphragm is pulled up but at that time dear student you are trying to increase understand the lung space thoracic cavity because the lung space increases the air from outside enters our nostrils understand because lung has increase in size to allow the oxygen reach air to enter our body try to understand dear student so oxygenated air has reached your nasal passage means your nasal cavity understand now actually dear student this nasal cavity also okay dear student try to understand a very important fact how actually it take place see try to understand see nasal cavity understand as you all know when oxygen reach hell try to enter our lungs at that time the inside thoracic cavity going to increase in size due to pulling up of the diaphragm as a result oxygenated air understand enters try to understand it enters in our lungs okay how it happens dear student the oxygenated air enters our nostril now actually our nostril are particularly peculiarly designed in this way that inside the nostril if you can see suppose this is our nostrils now when oxygenated air enters here dear student the inside lumen of our nostril is designed by not only one particular type of glands understand which secret a specific type of thick liquid which you call mucus mucus is secreted from here it has also fine hair so what is happening when this air enters 
it may have dust particles some microbes etc so this dust particle and microbes get entangled in the lumen understand by the, because <coughs> sticky liquid mucus and fine hair present in the inner wall of the no nasal cavity nostril will stop them from entering and going into our lungs okay now what happens try to understand the air has entered in in nostril this air dear student from here just try to understand travel in our pharynx understand from pharynx just try to understand from pharynx okay it goes to from pharynx it goes to our larynx larynx you know dear student also known as voice box which create by the flow of the air from inside a particular your we were speaking abilities on account of this larynx that you all know very well okay now what happens dear student then it goes to trachea this trachea divides into two branches which we call bronchi this bronchi understand divides into small bronchioles and this bronchiole actually forms what you call alveoli understand now what happens actually dear student try to understand this process very well okay let us try to understand what actually happens in alveoli understand i am just trying to show alveoli suppose this is alveoli dear student now oxygen rich air from nostril goes to pharynx then larynx then it goes to trachea then uh, from trachea it goes to bronchi through bronchioles it enters into the lungs now try to understand one very important thing here dear student we have air containing maximum oxygen this is clear in your mind at the same time dear student try to understand one very important thing this wall of the alveoli are full of blood vessel so blood is blood vessel means you know the meaning of that arteries and arterioles veins and venules etc now what happens that blood vessel are present in the wall of the lungs here blood vessel are present now from the whole part of our body dear student the impure blood containing carbon dioxide is actually rotating in the, in the blood vessel suppose i just so that blood vessel are here try to understand blood vessels in the blood vessel dear student actually blood containing carbon dioxide is there just take an example here suppose there is blood containing carbon dioxide here suppose dear student here suppose blood is flowing in blood vessel in blood vessel containing carbon dioxide just try to understand this very important thing inside there is air containing oxygen in the blood vessel blood containing carbon dioxide now what happens in alveoli exchange take place try to understand dear student oxygen from air diffuses to blood this oxygen dear student diffuses to blood and this carbon dioxide dear student diffuses to air so process of diffusion take place oxygen from air goes to blood carbon dioxide from blood understand goes to air so now the alveoli are filled with uh, not oxygen rich air but they are filled with carbon dioxide means it has become impure air now what happens dear student when we relax you are trying to decrease the thoracic cavity lung space and this impure air is pushed out of your alveoli this impure air goes to trachea goes to larynx pharynx and then it is thrown out 
of your nostril so when you inhale oxygen richer goes to alveoli from alveoli oxygen diffuses to blood carbon dioxide from impure blood diffuses to alveoli from here this impure air containing carbon dioxide is exhaled out when inhale you take oxygen relax you throw carbon dioxide now this blood which has got oxygen now where this oxygen goes in blood you know dear student to rbc red blood cells which are which are actually actually containing hemoglobin through this rbc this oxygen reach to each and every cell of our body where it is required for oxidation of glucose molecule you understood so this process actually taking place in our body try to understand this okay so this is actually how the respiration take place in human being understand <coughs> so this is clear in your mind how it happens dear student let us again try to revive in your mind see oxygen reach air goes to the nostrils fine hair and mucus protect uh, entry of understand microbes and uh, dust particle in our lungs it goes to pharynx then larynx trachea uh, bronchi bronchioles and then goes to the uh, goes to alveoli what happens in alveoli you know air containing oxygen here blood containing carbon dioxide exchange take place dear student oxygen from air diffuses to blood and carbon dioxide from blood diffuses to air air become polluted thoracic cavity when we relax decreases pushes the impure air outside our body through nostril it is thrown out and this blood containing oxygen now has become rich in oxygen understand it travels to all parts of our of our body and supply oxygen to each and every cell this oxygen in cell is utilized in mitochondria for the process of energy production okay so this is actually dear student human respiratory system understand and how respiration process take place in human being you understood okay and that's why dear student every time you inhale air and throw out co2 understand why in pranayam on your yoga you are practicing to inhale air and try to keep it for more time in your lungs and then throw it out actually that's a process just to make your alveoli more sufficient more efficient to just store more amount of fresh air which enters your lungs understand and maximum fresh air oxygen reach to our cell that's the sole purpose of pranayam dear student it is just a one type of that mechanism and breathing process which ensures much maximum oxygen reach air reach to each and every cell of your body you understood dear student so just now in today's lecture we have taken this topic understand of human respiratory system in homework dear student what i say in homework what you have to do first so we have explained how many topic today so one topic you know that is the topic of respiration dear student understand so homework for today's topic is you have to write short note on aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration then dear student another short note for you that is this human respiratory system draw explain human respiratory system and the process of respiration by drawing neat and clean diagram okay so in today's lecture dear student i have explained human respiratory system thoroughly okay try to draw a good diagram and read content understand but from our material itself okay so two processes explained next process we will continue in our next lecture okay